Good afternoon, it's Brother Jared, and we are continuing our devotional series from Millie Stam's Be Still and Know, and today is June 5th, and our scripture comes from Psalm 23.1. A lot of us know this. The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. David wrote this psalm out of his, out of his experience as a shepherd boy. He has learned many things about sheep, and their need of a shepherd's care. Sheep are helpless and foolish animals. They cannot defend themselves. They easily go astray. Without a shepherd, they soon become scattered. In his relationship with God, David compared himself with a sheep in need of a shepherd. He said, The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. The shepherd loves his sheep, and regardless of how many one has, one knows each one by name. He makes himself responsible for caring of their needs. Many shepherds have even lost their lives caring for the sheep. So so the sheep have no need for worry. Their trust is in their shepherd. Through the years, David has found his good shepherd to be his all-sufficient one, because his resources are inexhaustible. He could write, I shall not want. The Amplified Bible reads, The Lord is my shepherd to feed, guide, and shield, shield me. I shall not lack. Having no wants gives a feeling of contentment. Years later, One came who said, I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and am known of mine. And this comes from John chapter 10, verse 14. Our good shepherd, the Lord Jesus Christ, has a personal interest in each one of us. He can have implicit, we can have implicit trust in him for he does not overlook even one need. Once, A pastor confessed to another pastor their lack of complete trust in the Lord for some personal needs. Do you believe the 23rd Psalm? asked the fellow pastor. Of course, was the first pastor's reply. The fellow pastor continued, Does the shepherd take care of all the needs of his sheep, or only some of them? Suddenly the scripture had a new meaning for the first man he realized that he had been saying he believed in it, but now he really believed in it. The Lord is your shepherd and mine, and he meets all of our needs, every single one of them. Do we merely say, I believe he is my shepherd, or do we really believe it and trust him? This life of trust begins by personally knowing the Good Shepherd and by committing our lives unto Him. Let us pray. Our Lord God, we ask that we just don't say that we know You, that we just don't say that You are a Good Shepherd. Instead, allow us to truly believe in it, that You, as our Shepherd, will not let us go stray that you will protect us, that you will feed us, and that you will guide us. If we are doubting, or if we are going through a hard time, allow us to rely on you, O Lord. For your Son, Jesus Christ, is our Good Shepherd. And through the Holy Spirit, we will continue to follow you. We pray this prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. We want to thank you this afternoon for joining us, and we'll see y'all later. Goodbye.